This is Weapon Gojira X bringing you another episode of More Than Meets The Name. The first trophy I'll be discussing is Love Hurts. You can only earn this trophy after beating Metal Gear Solid 2 and creating a cleared game save. This is indicated by the save data being in red instead of white text. From the main menu, select Special, then Casting Theater. You then need to select Demo 8, Solidus vs. Raiden, The Final Battle. Here you'll change Raiden's character to Rose, and Solidus' character to Raiden. The trophy will unlock after playing and watching the entire clip. If you're not familiar with the Metal Gear Solid 2 story, prior to Raiden's mission starting, he's already in a relationship with Rose. Most of Raiden and Rose's conversations focus on their relationship while Raiden's on this mission. This isn't the opportune time to have these discussions, considering Raiden is on a mission rescuing hostages which includes the President of the United States, from a terrorist group. For this trophy, you're watching a clip of Rose eventually killing Raiden in a sword fight. The very actions that take place in the clip demonstrate the phrase, Love hurts. That's, love might be one of the greatest things, but if all fails, it'll hurt. It's a hurt that's impossible to explain, unlike hurt that's mental or physical. Which I'm going to add, one person can more easily speak about with another person. Yes, Raiden would be physically hurt from the injuries he's received from Rose during their sword fight on the roof of the Federal Hall National Memorial and falling to the ground. These injuries, of course, probably pale in comparison to the hurt Raiden is feeling from being forced to fight and being killed by the woman he loves and who has reciprocated that love for him. I also found this trophy amusing due to what happens in the story of Metal Gear Solid 2 regarding Raiden and Rose's relationship. So without spoiling anything, or hopefully not too much, some twists and turns happen that make it feel as if Raiden and Rose's relationship is like one of the decently made M. Night Shyamalan movies. I'd say this trophy counts as being one of those twists and turns where this alternate scene to the game can be created with Raiden and Rose in a sword fight to the death and Raiden losing. The last trophy I'll be speaking about is Sexting. This trophy is unlocked when playing a snake. During the tanker mission in Hold 1, there's a marine near the front of the formation not wearing any pants. Use the camera Otacon has given you for the mission and take a picture of said pantsless marine. This isn't the digital camera, which is a bonus item that can be found during the tanker and plant chapters. You know you have a good picture when Snake says, good. After this, Proceed to the terminal used for uploading the pictures of Metal Gear Ray to Otacon. Otacon will laugh after seeing the pictures, and you'll earn this trophy. This is an interesting trophy because this was an easter egg in Metal Gear Solid 2 when it was originally released on PlayStation 2. I know the picture you've got to take and send to unlock this trophy doesn't truly match the definition of sexting, which is forwarding, receiving, or sending sexually explicit images, messages, or photographs. But come on, Hideo Kojima, the creator of the Metal Gear Solid video game franchise, has to be acknowledged as some sort of forward thinker for including this easter egg as Metal Gear Solid 2 originally came out in 2001, and I believe this was before sexting became a thing. The first published use of the term sexting was in a 2005 article, and it wasn't until August 2012 that the word sexting was added to the Merriam-Webster's Collegiate Dictionary. I also find this trophy entertainingly funny, because it makes me laugh that a marine would show up without pants. The guy is at the unveiling of Metal Gear Ray, which is a United States Marine Corps weapon specifically developed for hunting down and destroying the many derivatives of Metal Gear after the plans for Metal Gear Rex were leaked following the events of the first Metal Gear Solid. This is kind of a big deal, as Metal Gears are all-terrain, nuclear-equipped, walking battle tanks capable of launching a nuclear warhead from anywhere on the planet. Obviously, if the wrong group of individuals gain access to one of these, then they can cause a global catastrophe and possibly start a nuclear world war. So getting back on topic, this trophy always stood out to me because this doesn't sound like the most professional thing to do, especially when a marine commander is present. It makes you wonder why a marine would do this at such an important event and how and why none of his peers acknowledge it at all. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave some feedback in the comments below. I'll be back with more trophies that could be deemed as more than meets the name.